Hey, it's Jesse Cervantes with Creative Congo with a super awesome quick tip for you guys. So here's some footage, and basically this is a compositing tip. So if you have footage like this that you want to composite, and a lot of times you'll get something like this with a black background or a white background, um, you know, of course you can put it on screen mode, but as you can see, the color just, you know, you just lose a lot of color. And you can put on some curves and do some other kind of things to make it brighter. But the other problem is if for some reason you have to pre-comp it, you put it into another, you know, you turn out, there's no real alpha channel, you know. So these are two issues that I've had while trying to composite or even trying to put an image over another image. So here's a technique that I figured out that just works perfectly. And it works in this case with this kind of footage. It works, this is video of just fireworks at night in the sky. And I just threw it up, did this technique, threw it on top of this footage. And, um, you know, you could say, oh, well, you know, I don't know if this is exactly how I want these fireworks to look. This is not a compositing um, tutorial. It's just a technique tutorial. Here's another one where it's like, uh, you know, I wanted this. And th the issue with this one is that, you know, I can put this on top. It's black and white already, and it's pure black. So I could put it on screen mode. But then what if I want to add color? You know, I put in a fill, then, you know, you can't really add color to this if I throw on a curves. And the same problem if I need to pre-comp, there's no alpha channel. So with this technique, that work, it even works with something over white. So if you have like a cutout or something you want and you don't want to go into Photoshop or you need to do it on the fly, you want to stay in After Effects, you can do cut out the white if you have a white background uh, really fast, really easy. So here's how the technique works. Basically, it's a two-step process. You have your original footage and you duplicate it, Command-D. And then the one on top, you simply add a tent. So what we're going to do, basically what we're doing is creating a luma mat. So here I put the tent effect, it's black and white, but it's not pure black and white. So I'm going to do one other thing, which is levels. And when you add the levels, you can see right here on your histogram, basically all you got to do is just move this over, crunch the blacks, crunch the whites, and you can see as I move the whites over, I lose or gain. So this is where you have a little bit of control. So all I'm going to do now is just go to the bottom layer and turn it to a luma mat. And that's it. I have my pre-comp. Now, if I move this in the middle, you can see that I have also control over like how much white or black can appear. And you know, a lot of times I just push this thing all the way to to where they're basically on top of each other. You know, in this case, I'm getting too hard of an edge, so I might not like that. I might want to f move this back and feather it a little bit. But that's essentially it. And if I turn this off, I have an alpha channel, so I could pre-comp this and be able to throw it on top of anything and uh, and have the footage work. And that's it. So that's the exact same thing I did here um, with this one, uh, the one on top. I put a tent effect, put the levels effect. Now in this case, when you're trying to get rid of white, and this might happen in some other cases, you can see a little bit here around the edges. You can see a th little bit of a line. So uh, you know, in this case, I might just put a mask around this layer, and then uh, you know, now there's no edge around the side. And if I want to get rid of the black in the middle, you know, I could put another uh, curves effect or something like that that would uh, take care of that. In this case, uh, the exact same thing, I did the uh, on the one on top, I added the, oh actually in this case I didn't even have to, you know, I just put made it a luma mat. So if this is the original um, without the screen mode, simply duplicate it, add the tent, then add levels. In, in, in fact, I don't even need the tent because it's already black and white. So just add the levels, you know, crush it a little bit, and then uh, just make it a, a luma mat. And in this case, it's nice because I can now add a fill. So I can make this any color I want to. I could add a curves and that kind of stuff. So uh, same thing with this with the fireworks. All right, went, this went on a little bit longer than I wanted to. I hope you guys find this tip useful and helpful. I certainly did. This is Jesse Cervantes with Creative Congo. Thanks for watching.